Fake workers are calling for better wages and health care benefits, and they're expected to be picketing out front of uh, the Warehouser HQ here in Pioneer Square. But according to Warehouser, bargaining started in April, their contract expired in May, and then the union voted to authorize a strike last week. Now, this is one of the largest wood product companies in the country. It lists four locations in Washington and Oregon on its website as a major production hub. Uh, and we know the strike is having an impact on all four of those locations. The strike involves members of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers Union. Warehouser has about 1,200 union members, which includes employees in the company's wood products and Timberlands organization. Now, union members went on strike a week ago after they say the company's final offer had improvements but came, quote, nowhere close to what our members wanted or deserve. Now, we spoke with workers on the picket line last week. We feel that um, we tried to bargain with the company who is, is a major player in the land and timber industry. We, we, we asked that uh, you know, they make their workplace better for their employers to maintain skilled labor and to actually be a leader in the industry. Now, this is the first time they've gone on strike since 1986, and uh, Warehouser told King 5 it's disappointed with the walkout, but that they will continue negotiating. Live in Seattle, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.